Welcome back to video number two of Motivated Monday. I'm currently sat in my bedroom with the fan on me because it's the warmest of warm days today. It's really not the best day to film a workout video, but it's got to be done. So this video is going to be focusing on arms and back. Nothing too strenuous, nothing too hard. Um, I've left it up to you really if you want to do more of what I do or less of what I do. It's really up to you. It's just going to be a nice little video for you to get those arms pumped and toned and defined ready for those little summer dresses that we're all going to be wearing. So I hope you enjoy this video and let's get to it. First of all, I want you to stand feet width apart and both your arms up in a right angle. What you're going to do then is, still keeping your arms in a right angle, is to take one arm down whilst keeping the other arm up. Really feeling that rotation in your shoulder and try to keep your body still so you're really focusing on those shoulder muscles and repeat this 20 times. Next, you're going to bring your arms in front of your body, keeping your hands and elbows touching if possible. Repeat this about 10 times and then we're going to pulse our arms up and down again, keeping your elbows touching if possible, I can't, <laughs> and we're going to do this for about 20 seconds. This exercise is really simple but I find it really effective. So with this in mind, we're going to hold our arms out to the side, elongating our back. Then we're going to pulse our arms up for 20 seconds with our palms facing the sky and then pulse downwards for 20 seconds with our palms facing the floor. And here with our arms still in the same position, we're going to flex our hands and do 20 circular motions forward and then 20 backwards. Now we're going to do plank to push-ups. Before we begin, make sure your plank position has a long straight back, that you're tucking that tailbone in and feeling your shoulders engaging. It's virtually impossible to keep your body still in this exercise, but do try to keep it as still as you possibly can. Aim to do 10, and then if you feel you can do more, add another 10. Again, I want you to start in a plank and with your right arm and right leg, step out to a push-up and back to plank. Repeat this on the left and that is one rep. Repeat this eight times. But remember, slow and steady wins the race. Don't rush it. Next is just regular push-ups. Ladies, feel free to do any of these exercises with your knees on the ground. I just personally prefer full press-ups. I want you to do this as many times as you possibly can and keep in mind quality over quantity. 8 perfect press ups done slow are better than 28 press ups done fast but wrong. Then take a 30 second breather. Now on to opposition push ups. I really like these ones as I feel it's a chance to work on the weaker arm if you have one as whichever arm is closest to your body really does take more weight. Do 8 of these if possible. Here we're going to do 10 wide press ups. If you do these with your knees on the ground, make sure you keep a long straight back so it's still your arm is doing all the work. Next up is tricep dip and we're nearly there. Start with your arms straight just under your shoulders, hips up and your right leg stretched out. As you bend your arms, I want you to bend your right leg into your body and then push out to the starting position. Repeat this eight times and then go on to the left side. And now you're done. 
stretch out your arms and feel free to do the stretches with me or if you have your own preferred stretches then please feel free to do that as well. Thank you so much guys for watching episode 2 of Motivated Mondays. If you like this video make sure to thumbs up at the bottom there and subscribe to my YouTube channel as there is still two more videos to come your way. So I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you follow me on all social media accounts at It's Petite Life and I will see you on the next one. Bye! <laughs>